Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Igor and I create tutorials to help you to master test automation. Today we are going to do something exciting. We are going to run our tests remotely on in the cloud. We are going to use GitHub with GitHub Actions. And let's get started. First, let's quickly recap what we are going to do today. We are going to set, set up our GitHub repository, create a basic playwright test, and then configure a GitHub Actions to run tests remotely. I will walk through uh, each step from setting up your first repository to running first test uh, remotely. And I propose you to start. First, let's dive deep in our GitHub. Let's say you have a GitHub account and now it's just time to create a new repository. Let's call it Playwright First Test, for example. Some we can leave description empty. And yeah, readme file, we don't need it for now. All right, now it's time to clone the repository to your local machine and let's do it. So we need to open our Visual Studio code and we basically need to run just one command. It's git clone and you need to copy the URL of ASSH. Cloning and we need passphrase for SSH key. By the way, the video where we set up kit is already made in channel, and so please check it out. Right, so it's empty for now. We can see new folder here. Let's just go there. Playwright first test and npm install Playwright latest. Yes. TypeScript tests and it proposed to add GitHub Actions. Let's do it, why not? And install browsers, yes. We are waiting while browsers are downloading. It takes some time. By the way, how to write your first test, you can also find the video on my channel, so don't hesitate and check this out. We can see which files are in place. There are a couple of tests already exist and we just need, we don't need this one, we can delete it. We're just going to have example test, All right? It's in place. Example test has a couple of tests. And let's take a look at our GitHub actions. It's basically playwright.yaml file and it consists of a couple of sections. So one of them on. That's basically when we are going to run it. We are currently interested in push and pull requests. And it's set by default main and master branch. Let's have just main and pull requests. Let's just remove pull requests. So we are interested in pushes to the main branch. Next, what we are going to do is basically jobs. Maximum um, time of how long job could run is limited by 60 minutes let's skip like that then system on which we are going to run the ubuntu latest we are also fine with that steps so basically that's a checkout step where we get our code that's a setup in node uh, which version to set up lts long time support basically it's any latest long time support version install dependencies basically we need to install dependencies run npm install then we need to install Playwright, where we are going to install all the browsers which needs to for our run. And finally, we can run our tests. 
After that, we probably can upload artifacts, which we're gonna to check later. And retention days, basically how long to keep them, it's 30 days. We are also fine with that. And we can basically try to play around. We can try to run test locally. It's super easy to understand if everything is working good. Let's just wait for the results. It takes some time, but all of them passed. And now it's time to, to push it. Let's check again our repository. It's empty, right? It says empty. And let's check its status. And we can add all our files for the next commit right now it's time to commit write commit message git commit minus i am our first test okay let's see we need to configure our git right it also could happen not a big deal so I'll just use my I'll just use my mail which I used in GitHub. And let's get back to our console and let's try to commit yes successfully and git push origin main. We need key for our best phrase and let's check it out everything is in place github workflows located under github workflows workflows tab we can see actions here our sorry mistake first <laughs> first test and we can see logs here what is going on and basically it was an easy one let's wait for the results and just as a recommendation for a stable workflow i would recommend you to run your tests always in docker because this docker it's always stable environment which you are going to get without anything pre-installed and luckily playwright provides you a default container to run those tests and we are going to observe it now job is completed and our tests are green actually everything looks fine but what is going to happen if for example some error is in place let's open our tests and commit some error example we are expecting installation and test right and let's just commit broken test and your branch is up to date work is clean kids oh we need to save it of course we need to save it broken test and we need to push it again now let's get back and wait for a new action on broken test so why actually use CI at all let's say you work with a team of uh, some developers front end back end and you are as a QA guy and basically in order to run your tests on every commit or every push which developers make there is a possibility like to use action so it's not so you are not dependent on your local machine and your team doesn't depend on your local machine there is always a way to run them remotely without you being present and even in automation manner and that's just a good practice 
and good to have seen let's wait for the test now we need to have a couple of retries and basically this retries going to have some html report let's see if we are going to get it and while it's running let's review how we can actually run tests uh, in docker it's also easy there is a nice documentation in playwright i'm going to leave you a link for that and basically there is github actions which we are looking right now and basically we can also run it in a container there is microsoft playwright container which consists all the needed libraries to be able to run playwright and inside our job we just can mention container image and that's it and that's basically where you're going to run your tests but a couple of things are different like you need to set environment directory as a home one and let's try let's wait okay we see the failure and also what i wanted to show you we see artifacts artifacts is basically our html report uh, with the results we can observe logs we can see what went wrong like we expected to see installation test to be visible but it's not so that's expected and let's just take a look on our playwright report index html and we can see three of our tests failed in different browsers chromium firefox and webkit and yes later we can also attach some images so it's more easy to understand the root cause of the problem and we can see a couple of retries what happened there it's so easy and let's get back and let's try to run inside container all what we need to do let's again copy it let's get back to our code open our oh by the way we can edit also actions from here but basically better to do it using ad ad we open our playwright yaml we are going to delete all of that and again we need just push main branch pull request jobs playwright test ubuntu latest and our container actions node 18 and yes that's it we can tr yeah let's try let's try let's save it and let's move back our test to healthy condition let's save it as well finally we can commit it commit running uh, running in docker running in docker and git push region main so we pushed let's get back to our browser let's wait for another run running in docker let's absorb our logs we can see how docker basically is pulling layer we are waiting for installation it would take more time but from my experience it will be also more stable for the future because that's environment which we have created which was created ex exactly to run playwright tests that's important one we are doing checkout our code we are specifying latest node now it's 18 not latest but long time support node and then we run six tests all of them are green and that's it basically 
you can observe all the previous actions it contains in, in actions tab and also there is a way to add workflow manually like you can add it from here there is some predefined one a lot of them but basically set up workflow yourself and you can uh, just copy paste main yaml here yeah, right you can have multiple of them for example and let's just copy our previous version of um, workflow we can see and let's open it workflow play right let's see history of our file let's copy it and see what is going to happen if we have two files if we have two workflows this is pretty interesting commit changes create main yes and we see two runs at the same time so it takes basically every yaml file parse it and run it separately as it's good to know and so you can have different workflows for each push of for each commit I think it should be useful if you have rich functionality or if you want to manage to do some special tasks and that's good to know in our code we can see couple of files right now and let's wait for the actions still both take some time first one is green and a main is faster just because we don't pull docker all the time and we don't run it in a docker but it doesn't mean that it's more stable for example because stability is better with with the docker and second one is green as well that was it for this episode i hope i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you find something useful for you just try to explore playwright documentation it has good description and try to play around it's just not that difficult and just try it yourself and subscribe for my channel wait for new content and see you later bye bye